educate girls for climate justice. What do we want? Climate justice. What do we want it? Now. Communities non pipelines. Communities non pipelines. People are non -pipelines. Let's keep it in the ground. Just keep it in the ground. Due to climate related events, millions of girls lose their access to schools. Uh, events like droughts and floods impact schools directly. Displacements are caused uh, some, due to some of these events and because of that, girls uh, are impacted the most. They're the first ones to drop out of schools and then the last ones to return as well. And we know that there uh, is not enough effort put into solving these problems. And oftentimes in these situations, girls are never able to return to their schools when they are stuck at home. They're more likely to be busy in the household chores. They are also expected to uh, help their family members and uh, less likely to have access to uh, the tools and the facilities to continue their education. The Taliban and their de facto government are continuing to find excuses to stop girls from school. And we know that when girls do not have access to education, it can worsen the climate-related events. And Fridays for Future was also very active in Afghanistan as well. There were young activists who were supporting the causes. They were highlighting how there was pollution in their communities, how they were also impacted by the climate related events and they were also highlighting that even though Afghanistan was contributing to the least uh, contributing the least to uh, to climate change they were also receiving the worst of its impacts hi everyone uh, first of all i would like to say that i am really grateful that i got the opportunity to pass by uh, this amazing group of young activists and join this movement young people that if we want to ensure all girls can have echo, can grow up to be strong, powerful and inspiring women. I am worried about the education of girls in Afghanistan. The longer a girl stays out of school, the less likely she is to return to school. The senior years may never get the opportunity to complete their education. And we know that this could be a life-changing moment in their life. Many of them may never be able to take a job, to stand on their own two feet. So this is a life-defining moment for them, uh, and we don't want them to miss this moment. No more blah, 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 educate girls for climate justice. No more blah, 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 educate girls for climate justice. No more blah, 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 educate girls for climate justice. This is what power looks like. Show me what power looks like. This is what power looks like. I'm concerned that it's taking longer and longer. It's been eight or nine months since the Taliban announced that boys can return to school and they still haven't made any announcement on girls' secondary education. Uh, they keep on changing their mind. They announce one date and then they step back. They keep on finding excuses, sometimes to do with uniform, sometimes to do with something else. Uh, but world leaders need to take a bold stance in protecting the rights of Afghan girls to education. We cannot live in a world where girls are denied their secondary education in a country. We know that it is important for the empowerment of women. We know it's important for long-term peace and stability as well. Um, and we know that it's a fundamental human right of every woman, every girl to have access to education. Uh, so they cannot be denied that right. Any girl can change the world. 
if, if they are provided with the right tools to do so. Uh, and for that, we need to educate girls and make sure that they, they know about, about the world, that they get skills in, in actually improving the state of the world. And we also need to encourage girls to actually stand up and, and raise their voices. So when girls and women are educated, it helps to reduce on greenhouse gas emissions, it helps to build resilience, and it also helps to reduce the existing inequalities that so many women and girls face you know, in different parts of the world. And also we need more women in the rooms where decisions about our climate and our planet are being made. And to get more women in those leadership places, we need to educate girls and empower them.